Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless Outdoors. Today's episode, we're diving out of Florida. The goal of today's episode is to shoot some wahoo, mahi, and hopefully some tuna, but we'll find out. We are pretty far offshore. It's just me and Ben today. Hopefully we're gonna see some nice fish and I'll catch in the water. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It has been a while. Sorry about the lack of posting. I have been just gaining more and more content, so I kind of have a buffer. But I just hopped in the water at this first spot here, and this is what I'm greeted with. A ton of blackfin tuna. They're pretty much everywhere. There's a couple thousand of them, honestly. This was just one of the schools. And I was hoping to see some yellowfin or something like that that was a little bit bigger. And I didn't really want to take a shot on any of these guys if I didn't get a really easy shot as you can see i line up and i just didn't like my shot so i passed hoping to see a big yellow fin a big wahoo anything in sort and kind of just get a, a larger fish because i figured these guys would kind of stick around so as i'm heading back up i spot some mahi at the surface but as you'll see they're kind of some peanuts so take a pass on them and hopefully save that uh the spot for some some bigger fish so get up to the surface and keep looking around so as you can tell the weather's not looking so hot we're pretty far offshore so we're we're being pretty cautious and we're just drifting with the boat so in between each of these dives we're keeping tabs on where exactly the boat is and I go down hoping to see something that's not just these tuna unfortunately I didn't see anything so I popped back up to the surface and I looked around for the boat saw the boat was pretty far away so I stopped recording and went to go get that and as soon as I did my brother shot a wahoo and he starts screaming, get over here, get over here, there's a giant mahi. So I, I swim over there as fast as I can. And um, as you can tell, there is just a humongous mahi swimming around this wahoo. And I figured since he was so aggressive right now, he wasn't going to just swim away. So I waited until he gave me a super easy shot, took that shot. And if you listen, you can hear Ben freaking out on the surface. We're both super hyped up that I landed a shot in this fish and honestly there should be a zero percent chance this fish comes off but as you can see i sped it up and you'll get to watch the whole fight i played him pretty soft just because i didn't want any chance of something stupid happening where like a line breaks or something so fought this guy for a while and the boat's a little bit far away so ben starts swimming over there he's we didn't really talk about it but that's the good thing about being with your brother or a good buddy is you don't really have to talk about much they just know that i've got to go get the boat somebody's got to go do that and since i've got a, a really nice fish on i'm gonna deal with this and he's gonna go get the boat and kind of help me out here so he's getting that and i'm just fighting this fish i'll quit talking and let you watch the rest of this fight but it's pretty cool to land this shot here So we landed that fish, hopped back in the boat, took some pictures and stuff, and as soon as we redrifted, Ben landed a shot in a really nice wahoo, and there was a couple more of them, so I go down here trying to get another shot because I saw he just drilled that fish, but this one didn't give me that good of a shot, so I decided I was going to help Ben and also go deal with the boat to make sure he didn't have to deal with it, and as I'm swimming over, see a pot of tuna that 
hopefully had something because he created a lot of commotion with the wahoo but unfortunately i didn't see anything that i liked and as soon as i got to the boat ben was swimming towards it as well i spotted another school of the wahoo and they were about four or five of them they were about the same size as the one he shot but still i hadn't shot any yet so i went down hoping to get a shot and as you saw through that flasher brought him in pretty good but unfortunately i threw it a little too far and he swam to the flasher of course instead of me and um i go to take a longer shot here unfortunately didn't really work out take the shot just goes right under him and grab the flasher turn around look at the boat and i notice the boat is starting to sink i slowed it down and replayed it you can see that the scupper which is the little black dots on the back is literally under the water so that means most of the boat is underwater and unfortunately i didn't really get good footage of it but the boat started to sink so this next clip here is us heading in where we got the boat on a plane ben was still in the water so i just took off i had to get all the water start to draining out because i hopped in the boat and the water was up to like my shins in the back of the boat so we're pretty far offshore and if we sunk we would have had a terrible time so i just started taking off and i didn't have time to even film any of it but it was uh it was kind of a nightmare we started taking on a lot of water so we started running in and as you can see there's a ton of water still flowing in and hopefully our plan was to just get as far in as we could before the boat eventually sank but luckily enough we got on the trailer and made it back kind of cut the trip short but oh well middle hole Correct as can be about in line with uh, over the first axle kind of slightly over the first axle absolutely short mine that's bad you can see it just pouring out of the hole golly What's going on y'all? Just got back to the house. Ended up with one big mahi. He went 41 pounds and then Ben got two wahoo. We haven't weighed those, but they're probably about 20 pounds or so. So definitely some nice fish. Good job, guy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe. Catch you All right, we uh, just got the boat on some blocks and it's, it's not looking so good. That's why it was uh, leaking on our run in. Got Ben here giving us a little, little show of what's happening. Um, it's on both sides. It's uh, it's pretty bad. It's kind of in like the same three or four foot section here, but uh, it's pretty bad. So, yep. And this moves too when you push up. So it's pretty nice. But time to do some work.